but my main focus is on Wikimedia Commons, which is the media database that uh, harvests free license uh, images, uh, video, audio, and the like. I've submitted over two and a half thousand photographs I've made myself and transferred over a thousand pictures from other projects like Flickr. Um, I'm also an administrator, so I can actually delete your pictures <laughs> if they violate copyright. Talk about the project. Oh, Jiso! Oh, so I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm, I'm very act I was already fairly active within the Wikimedia project when I met Susan. Um, I met Susan by nominating her pictures for deletion, which is usually not the most friendly way to get to know people. Really? Um, <laughs> but I found out she was involved with the uh, um, independent investigation group and that that was linked to the po Center of, for Inquiry. I already knew the Center for Inquiry to the Point of Inquiry podcast, which I thought was really cool. So I befriended her on Facebook and only after that found out about GSAW. So I've been helping out explaining copyright licensing to other GSAW volunteers. And it, overall it's very interesting how the dynamic of the group works in comparison to other groups within the Wikimedia project. Um, okay, hi, uh, my name is Jelena Levin and I have just recently joined uh, GSO um, and I first heard about it, this project on um, SGU podcast and um, I think Susan was giving a shout to everybody who can speak other languages to help her uh, improve Wikipedia in other languages and my first language is Russian and so I thought why not? And when I went actually on the Wikipedia page, the very, very first home page where it shows you how many articles Wikipedia has in, in which language, of course English was the, the biggest one, and then Russian is kind of, it, it's not great. There's like a million articles or whatever compared to, I don't know how many English. I thought, yes, this is kind of what I, I thought I can really help with and I can really help improve the Russian uh, Wikipedia contest, the context and um, uh, make it up to English standard, you know, I know it's, it's a bit of a uh, <laughs> high sort of, a, um, uh, sort of goal, but um, I'd like to participate in this project because I think it's great uh, to be involved in, 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 a, in a thing like that and I'm, I'm very passionate about skepticism and, and um, Wikipedia is a place to go for, for everything nowadays, this is where you start uh, your search when you're looking for any information on in the internet. Um, so. I'm super excited to be a part of this project and, uh, you know, I hope to change the world in a very small way, but, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, hi, my name is uh, Andras uh, from the Hungarian Skeptic Society. Um, and we've been doing um, skeptical activism for, for quite a long time. Um, of course, in, all done in Hungarian. Um, uh, and we haven't heard about the, the, this, this project uh, uh, for a long time and, and it, it was about a couple of months ago when, when we first uh, contacted uh, uh, Susan and uh, there is now a seven strong Hungarian group uh, within the project uh, of, uh, of which uh, there are a few members who are much more experienced uh, editors than I am since I've uh, done only uh, a couple minor things, um, mainly in Hungarian, uh, on Hungarian uh, uh, Wikipedia pages. So now I'm about to, to start my proper training with, with Susan uh, within the project. And I'm very excited about that because uh, I do think that this is the real way to 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 make a difference because um, this the, these are the the sources that that most of the people are using and if we can um, put uh, up the, the proper information there uh, then we can we can really achieve something so I I would love to be much more active. I promised Susan that I will be <laughs> and I'm gonna stick to my promise and uh, I will uh, encourage others to join the group.
Okay, hello. My name is uh, Leon Korteweg and I'm from the Dutch group. And I've been active uh, on uh, Wikipedia for years and years, but uh, it's only recently, uh, about a year ago, that I joined GSW because uh, it was uh, really focusing on skepticism and, uh, and proper uh, foundation of content and really showing evidence for your claims. And, uh, um, and it's all about uh, um, having good citations for religion or conspiracy theories or alternative medicine or uh, the claims of the paranormal or pseudoscience and all, all these kind of pages on uh, great scientists and uh, skeptical activists and you really want to, to have them a proper page so everyone can read about it in, uh, in Dutch and so we're uh, translating a lot or we're writing pages that specifically are about uh, uh, subjects that uh, are within the Dutch language area. And we have a, a team of about uh, 10 people, uh, Vera is one among them, you just heard her. And, she, uh, and, and this is a great team uh, working together across borders in Netherlands, uh, Flanders, we even have someone in, uh, in Sweden. And it's, it's just great to work together in an international team and uh, just uh, make content, uh, skeptical content available for everyone to see. Hello, my name is Peter, I come from Slovakia, but I'm actually part of the Hungarian team. Um, I haven't found many people from Slovakia yet, so if you are there, just let us know. Um, that would be great. The reason why I joined the Hungarian team because um, I speak Hungarian quite well. I think so, in it, Andras. <laughs> so, Agreed. Agree. <laughs> my, um, my grammar is not that great, but I, I think I will manage with the help of the others. Um, what I want to get out of this is I just want to educate myself as much as I can. And I, as Tim Farley and Susan already suggested before in many videos, um, just I should find my niche, if that's the right word for it, where, where, I'm, where I'm really good at something. I, I picked physics because I read some articles that they were quite um, not skeptical at all about some, some basic stuff. And I think I put my fair share into that. I only written one article so far. It hasn't been published yet, but um, I think we're getting there soon. And just a few more, few more um, details to update. And also, it's half translated to Hungarian now. And um, yeah, it's almost done. And I'm very much looking forward to carrying on with this. So that's it. Uh, hi, I'm uh, <coughs> Andy from the UK, and uh, I'm involved in the the Reading uh, Skeptic Group. Um, I've been going to uh, conferences like TAM and QED for a few years, and. I'm very much a beginner at uh, photography, but I've been taking photos and some of those have been useful and being part of the group means I've actually got something to aim for and there's plenty of competition with some of the other photographers to improve <laughs> what I'm doing. Um, and one of the first things you notice on our Wikipedia page is, is the photograph and if you get a good photograph that often gets people much more interested mm -hmm. in, in the excellent content that the others are providing, so uh, I'm hoping to help contribute to that. Great. Hi, my name's Rob McDermott. I'm another of the photographers, a bit of competition. I yeah, I've been doing amateur photography with SLRs and such maybe for eight or nine years now. Um, been involved in skepticism for four or five. I set up York Skeptics, um, and um, yeah, I've always taken photos at, at skeptic events and always said to anyone who was very was slightly interested in them yes use them to promote skepticism and obviously using them on wikipedia seems like a very good idea because lots of people are going to see them i know a few of my photos have been used on some of the guerrilla skepticism articles i saw a couple in susan's talk yesterday which made me smile um so and i also was hablo espanol y je parle francais. Ooh. So, um, yeah, a bit of languages, because I do have a degree in modern languages, French and Spanish, so maybe I can help a little with that as well, although I haven't done so much of that as yet. <laughs> this has been absolutely a blast. So, I am just going to sign off now for the moment, and um, we're probably going to continue our discussion. And if you would like to join our project and become one of the cool kids, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. the, power, the power group, please write to us at GSOWteam 
at gmail.com. I can't, I can't um, say enough how important it is to actually go to conferences, meet each other, interact, learn who they are, um, and just bond with your fellow, your fellow members. Um, if that's not possible, then Gorilla Skepticism on Wikipedia is probably a, a very good project for you if you're in a remote, remote area and unable to, to um, attend conferences. That This is a great project because we're very friendly and we have a forum that's very interactive. So thank you so much for listening. That was fun! Yay. Wasn't that great? First podcast in my life. Your first. <laughs>